everyone, welcome to Retro Gaming Corner on a gloomy Sunday in the Northeast. Sunday morning, uh, gotta love the extra hour sleep though. Of course, with a three-year-old, I don't get an extra hour of sleep. But anyways, folks, this is um, another video in my series of my game collections. Today we're doing the Atari 27, uh, Atari 7800 video game system. As you can see, uh, in front of me is the original box from when I was a little kid. And that does have the console and the controllers in it. I just don't feel like taking it out. I do have a second, also a one outside of the box. So basically I have two 7800s. Um, so here we go. Let's get, get started. First I'm going to show you I do have boxed and I have unboxed games. So let's get started. I'm going to save 7800. Um, first game I have unboxed is Dig Dug. Dig Dug, great game, good version, by the way. So that is Dig Dug. I'm just going to tilt this camera down a little bit more so we can get better video. There we go. Okay. Next up is Pole Position 2. Here we go. Pole Position 2, again, Atari 7800. Next up is Food Fight, awesome conversion of the arcade game. I love this game. A lot of fun. Running around, gobbling up food, avoiding the chefs or whatever they are. That's a lot of fun. I like that game. Um, next up on the Save 800 is Xevious. Pretty good port. There you go. Label's just a little marred. But there's that. Next up, Impossible Mission. I love this game on the Commodore 64. Stay a while. Stay forever. That cool... A uh, little computerized voice that they used to have and I was blown away. But this is a 7800 version. Fairly uncommon. Um, I have another copy of Pole Position 2. I didn't realize I had. And another copy of Food Fight for the 7800. Uh, Robotron 84. There you go. Pretty decent version. And let's see. Karate, karatika. Again, I had this on the Commodore 64. This is the 7800. And as everyone knows, I'm sure the 7800, you can play 2600 games on the um, 7800, which is awesome because, you know, you don't have to lug out your 2600. So, but the system... Um, didn't do as great as, obviously, the other systems because of the time it came out, the video game crashed, and all that stuff. But um, the next one up is a great port of Galaga, one of my favorites. And also, Galaga is featured in War Games, which is one of my favorite movies. God, I've probably seen that movie 25, 30 times. I love it. I own it. War Games, you get a chance to see it. It's a great movie. Matthew Broderick. Uh, about computer hacking, and he does play the Galaga um, arcade machine in the game. So there you have it. Those are just my unbox games. Now I'm going to get to the box games I have. So let's get started. Um, complete in box. This one is Jinx 7800. Complete in box. There we go. Escape from the Jinx. Not a great game in my opinion, but... What are you going to do? Uh, next up is great port version of Mrs. Pac-Man. That is complete in box. There's Miss Pac-Man. There we go. Next up is Crossbow on the 7800. There we go. And these boxes all are in good condition. There it is, crossbow. Arcade game with a light gun shooter. You can use the joystick for this. So that is crossbow. Next up is Hat Trick, which is a um, hockey game for the 7800. There you go. Sizzling hockey action on cool ice. I'm a big hockey fan, Boston Bruins fan, and I love hockey games. Uh, 
Next up, Galaga, a box version. Again, I have an unboxed version of it, and this complete in box. And that is Galaga. Uh, Winter Games, which again is on multiple ports. Commodore 64, oh, it's a fun game. It's Winter Games. Go for the gold. Super game cartridge. So these are super game cartridges. Interesting how they have that on some of them. Uh, Desert Falcon. Kind of a Zaxxon-like 3D isometric type of game. Not the greatest, but not the worst. Dare to steal the uh, Pharaoh's Jewels. So that is Desert Falcon. Next up is Ball Blazer by, I believe, LucasArts, licensed to Atari. I could be wrong. Yes, LucasFilm, LucasArts. Uh, this is for, obviously, the 7800. That's Ball Blazer. Right there. Become the ultimate champion of the universe. So, that is Ball Blazer. Next up is Barnyard Blaster. Which is used with the light gun. Uh, there. That's a barnyard. Down farm. Kind of a cheesy target practice type of game. Barnyard blaster. I do prefer duck hunt. Obviously on the NES. But that's barnyard blaster for the 7800. Next up is one on one basketball. Julius, Dr. J. Irving, and Larry Bird. For you young folks, Larry Bird used to play in the Celtics. Uh, again, that's one-on-one -on -one basketball for the 7800. Slam dunk basketball action. Again, another super game cartridge. I don't know what that means. Did they add more memory on the cartridge? But anyways, that's one-on-one. -on -one. Next up is Dark Chambers on the 7800. This is a sealed copy because I have two. Again, this is a sealed copy of Dark Chambers. Master Subterranean Kingdom, and that is for the 7800. That is sealed. Next up is Tower Toppler, which is a kind of climbing game, which is kind of weird. You, you go around this castle, it spins around, and as you go up on the top, prepare a new world for civilization, but that is Tower Toppler. For the Atari 7800. There. Next up is Donkey Kong Jr. Big fan of Donkey Kong. Donkey Kong Jr. Multiple platforms. That says new, obviously, at the time. And that is Donkey Kong. Pretty good port. Donkey Kong Jr. So... Next up is another copy of Desert Falcon. Now, some of these are duplicates, not because I'm nuts, because I did purchase, I didn't, um, the original 7800 was in the attic. I didn't realize we still had it. My parents gave it to me. So I had already purchased a 7800 years ago with games. So that's why you'll see some duplicates like this one. Desert Falcon. And another duplicate of Ball Blazer. But this one is sealed, completely sealed. So that's Ball Blazer. And by LucasArts. And a copy of Donkey Kong, which I love. I love Donkey Kong on the end. If you have an NES, I highly recommend getting Donkey Kong on the NES. It's a great port of it. And I believe it has the full levels, not the missing ones. And this is Donkey Kong. And I don't remember if this one has... Well, this only has three screens, so... I don't think it has the extra one. Not the extra one, but the one in the arcade, so... Again, that's Donkey Kong. Next up is... A copy of Galaga. Complete. Here you go. And again, that is a duplicate. Complete in box. Next up is another duplicate of Dark Chambers. There you have it. 
That is complete in box. And then Asteroids. A little disappointed with the Asteroids version on the 7800. I thought they could have done a lot better. But it's a pretty good version. If you notice, the graphics aren't like vector-like graphics. It's like solid. It's not bad. Eight waves. Yeah, I guess this one's okay. I, I think I'm thinking of the uh, 5200 version, to be honest. And that is Asteroids. Complete in box. Oh, Joust. Great version. Great version here. Joust. There you go. I love this version on the Save 800. Again, that is Joust. Complete in box. Next up is an awesome, awesome version of Centipede. Um... For the 7800, one of my fellow subscribers was raving about it, and I totally agree. I believe it's Dan71. Uh, awesome game. Now, I don't know, folks, if they make a trackball for the 7800. I don't think so. Or can you use the 5200 with the 7800? I don't know. I have to look that up. But anyways, that's Centipede, complete in box for the 7800. A great version. My youngest daughter loves Centipede. And so do I. So that is Centipede for the 7800. Next up and final game is... Oh, no, I have more games. I'm sorry. Is another copy of Miss Pac-Man. Complete in box. Gobble, gobble, goop. So great version. That is Miss Pac-Man. All right. Next up is... Midnight Mutants. Oh, great game if you can pick this up cheap. I think this game is starting to get very expensive. Midnight Mutants for the 7800. Complete in box. It's like a Monsters game. This is classic. As a matter of fact, I should have played this because it was Halloween yesterday. But can you save Grandpa from uh, Plasmic Prison? This is a great game. It had, it, it's, I don't know if, it, if you call it like an action RPG. But it's just a great game. The graphics are great. It's a lot of fun. I believe it's fairly uncommon now. I don't know. I think the prices are going up on that. So if you do see this box drawn box, grab it because it's a great game. And then that's Midnight Mutants. And there's Grandpa on the cover for the 7800. Um, next up is a box version of Xevious. I have. A cartridge. Now I have you know, the box version here. That's Xevious for the 7800. Pretty good version. It's dangerous. It's devious. It's Xevious. How cheesy, right? And that's Xevious. So, next up is baseball on the 7800. Obviously, you see, like, generic Atari guys. Not licensed. Real sports series. No licensed Major League Baseball players in this. Not too, too bad of a baseball version. So that's that. Um, a boxed version of Choplifter. Box has seen better days, obviously. And there's the back of the box. Right there, Rescue the Hostages. Love Choplifter. Uh... Let's see. Next up is a boxed version of Dig Dug for the 7800. There you go. Those are all complete in box. Munch, crunch, punch. Love these little cheesy sayings on the back of the boxes. Uh, let's see. Let me move that back a little bit. There we go. Uh, next up is a box version of Pole Position 2. And that is sealed in box, has not been opened, because I have Be the Grand Prix winner. I already have it in cartridge form. So that's Pole Position 2 and Joust. Another duplicate copy of the box of Joust. And these are just duplicates again. And these are sealed, uh, Barnyard Blaster sealed, 
tower toppler sealed. And Jinx sealed. And unsealed duplicate copy of Donkey Kong. So, anyways, folks, that is my 7800 collection. There are obviously some more games, some obscure games I would like to get eventually. But um, let me just show you there. All of the games. So as you can see, I have a pretty good collection. Again, a lot of these are originals from up in my attic when I was a kid. And there's the 7800. The box is a little scraped up, but not too bad. So there you have it, folks, uh, my 7800 collection, Atari. Post, comment, and subscribe. And until my next video, thanks for watching.